Interesting fact about Rwanda you probably didn't know. Rwanda is a small African country whose name is often mostly associated with the horrific genocide that happened in 1994. It was one of the most tragic events in the history of not only Rwanda, but the world. However, it was also a turning point in the country's history. It has since then embarked on a new path of social, economic, and ecological development and deserves to be known for more than the events from 1994. Here are some interesting facts about Rwanda that will spark your curiosity and put the country on your bucket list. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 1. Rwanda is known as the land of a thousand hills. Rwanda, a landlocked nation, shares borders with Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, and the DRC. Its capital city, Kigali, is just 1,170 kilometers or 694 miles from the equator. Rwanda is truly the land of a thousand hills, with mountains and hills everywhere, and towns and cities located at substantial elevations. Rwanda is also the second smallest nation in Africa and is known to be the cleanest nation in East Africa. Number 2. Kigali in Rwanda, the cleanest city in Africa. Besides being the capital city of Rwanda, Kigali is regarded as the cleanest and one of the most organized cities in Africa. In 2017, the United Nations nominated Kigali as the most beautiful city in Africa. Number 3. The first country to ban plastic bags in the world. What you might not expect from an African country is to rank among the cleanest ones in the world. Well, this is the case with Rwanda. Environmental sustainability is taken seriously here. Since 2008, the use of plastic bags has been banned in the country. You are only allowed to use biodegradable alternatives or reusable paper bags. Its public spaces are always remarkably clean and there is normally not a single piece of trash around. Upon entering the country, your luggage will be checked by officials and you'll be asked to remove any plastic bags that you might have. Number 4. 64% of the Rwandan parliament are women. Rwanda has the most number of women in parliament in the world. It is a country that practices gender equality and no doubt, the country is doing extremely well. Number 5. It is home to the endangered mountain gorillas. About 60% of the population of this endangered species can be found in the Virunga Massif, with the Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda is part of. Gorillas are fascinating animals and seeing them in their natural habitat is a unique experience, especially keeping in mind that people share over 97% genetic code with them. Rwanda takes their conversation very seriously. This means less than 100 tourists a day are allowed to take part in the gorilla tracking, the cost for which are more than $1,000. Number 6. One of the most horrific genocides in history happened here. Rwanda's population is made up of mostly Hutus and Tutsis. Although Rwandans are working really hard now to leave their differences behind, these two ethnic groups have often been in conflicts historically. The culmination of this conflict was in 1994, when for a period of only about 100 days, almost 1 million Tutsis and moderate Hutus were slaughtered by the Hutus. It is the fastest and one of the most brutal genocides in history with weapons such as machetes and clubs used by both military and ordinary people. Number 7. You do not need a visa to visit Rwanda. You'll get a 90-day visa at all Rwandan borders and airports if you're African and 30 to 60 days if you're from another continent. As a result, Rwanda is one of the most welcoming countries in the world. Number 8. A community that cleans together. 
Did you know that there is a community service done throughout the whole country every month? It is called Umuganda. In the local language, it means working together. This National Day of Service occurs on the last Saturday of each month. Each community plans a place to meet up and do something positive. Activities could involve cleaning up, planting out trees, building a house for the poor, and so much more. The idea is to work together for the progress of the community and for Rwanda as a whole. Number 9. Rwanda hosts a car-free day to promote exercise and healthy living. In Kigali, the capital of Rwanda, there are various car-free zones where pedestrians and cyclists can roam freely. Rwanda also implements a car-free day each month in which the government encourages residents to exercise and focus on healthy living. While cars are popular in Rwanda, many people travel on foot, bicycles, motor taxis, and mopeds on which individuals ride on the back to get around. Most motor taxi drivers carry an additional helmet with them and this is by far the most affordable way to get around in Kigali if your destination is too far for walking. Number 10. The official language of Rwanda is Kenya Rwanda. Kenya Rwanda is the national language of Rwanda and the first language of almost the entire population of the country. It is one of the country's official languages alongside French, English, and Swahili. Rwandan Sign Language is used by the educated deaf population. Prior to 1994, Rwanda was a francophone nation with children learning French in schools, but the government made the switch from French to English following the genocide. Its efforts to teach English in schools widened in 2009. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our coverage of the interesting facts about Rwanda that you probably didn't know of. Did we leave out some of these facts? Please drop it in the comment section below and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and also share it with your friends and we'll see you in our next video.